everybody. So today we're gonna check out the Gin Folding Knife Kit. Um, before I get into it though, I just wanna do a disclaimer that this was sent to me along with another knife uh, for purposes of review. I'm not paid for this. And I did tell them that I will be honest. And um, they said, that's fine. They want honesty, they want feedback. So while I'm doing the video, if you think of something, put down in the comments, say type in uh, J-I-N in bold letters and say, this is what I wanna see. And I guess that's it, let's check it out. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna do a straight up unboxing. This one's cool, but this is the one I, I, I like the more. So I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. And it just comes in this white box. And I need, to move. I need more room. This was, this was wrapped in a, a cellophane wrapper. I already took it off, but um, this one is the, what do they call this one? There. JIN model number 009 RBLT folding knife kit, blue tie blade. So this is like a blued blade, I guess. And it already looks kind of cool. It, is, it actually is blued. I think it's blue, blue. <laughs> Let's pop this out real quick. Let's start with this. So, obviously, you're going to have the uh, G10 scales, liners. And I'm not going to assemble this now, but that's going to be the next video. I'm just going to show you what comes in the kit. You have a little projecting sheet, protected, protective sheath on the blade. That looks really cool. I like that blue. A little bit of oil. They come clean and oiled, they said. And. I'm not seeing any anything black. Um, I'll test my hank on that. Nothing, just a little bit of oil, which is fine. D2 steel blade. The other side is the other liner, liner lock, G10 scale. And now I'll set that aside. And the bottom you have your instruction manual. Let's flip it real quick. Shows everything that comes in there. And then here's the rest of the accessories. Now, one thing I thought was really cool about this, this has everything you need. So I'm gonna leave all the stuff in here for now. Carefully the blade, especially with me. But you got some pivot lube. Lubricates knife joints, reduces friction. Do not drink this. <laughs> you have all the hardware you need. You got ceramic ball bearings. And I don't, I said tie on that thing. I don't think it was referring to this. I think it just meant the color. So I don't think these are titanium. I'll, I don't have a magnet anybody to check, but I uh, backspacer, two screwdrivers. So one must be. I'm guessing T6 and T7. And then a uh, microfiber cloth. So very cool. And their logo on it. So the next video, I'm going to assemble it. I just figured it was too long to do it all in one, one go. But um, I did want to talk about the knife a little bit. All right. So, yeah, you, um, I just wanted to show a couple things. You have a D2 steel blade that I would call it more of a blue. You know, I don't know how they made it blue like that. So really cool. I like the way that one looks. Um, the liner lock has a ball detent on it. Uh, D10 scales. And uh, they, they and they emailed to me. They were saying this is kind of like a high cost effectiveness of shipping a premium knife. And it looks like it's a decent knife. Uh, and they sell for 30 bucks, $29.99. And actually they gave me a discount code and I'll put that down below. It's 10 Randy's WSG and, and I'll hold a link to there. Amazon page, but um, I feel like 29 or, you know, 30 bucks might be a little bit too high because you can find a D2 knife, um, say like from Ganzo, for 25 bucks. So, um, but they're marketing this as a premium knife. So we'll see how it is. Maybe it's really, really good. Um, and they also say you gain a better understanding of a knife, which I totally agree. I um, have had terrible experiences taking apart a knife. I've only put one back together successfully. So if I can do this good, um, that should say a lot about the knife. Um, and they also said they want to, how do they put it? They want to explore more materials and designs. 
while maintaining the knife kit idea. So I wonder, I think what they're saying is you're going to be able to buy different scales for the same knife or you buy a different blade for the knife, I think. Don't quote me on it, but if that's the case, that's great because I'm not, I don't really like this one that much. I don't hate it. It's just not me. And um, the fact that both knives had the same scales, I didn't like that. That's just me being picky though. It's not about the knife itself. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna put, try and put this together in the next video, and uh, leave a link. Uh, I'll leave the link down below to their uh, Amazon page with a discount down below. Uh, comment with what you'd like to see. Like, would you would you want to see, say, this knife with like a Warncliffe blade? If you can swap them out, that would be really cool. Just to swap out blades. Um, I love that they include everything you need, so you don't have to worry about buying stuff. I wasn't sure, if, you know, I need to break up my kit or anything, so very cool um thanks for sending this i mean that was really cool and if you whoever comments on this video and the next video you're going to be entered to win at least one i'm not sure how i'm going to give them all away but i'm going to give um at least two of them away maybe three and probably keep this one for myself but um yeah be sure to comment on this one and the next one thanks for watching